What didn't you hear? You didn't hear anything about race. Why is that? Again, if the roles were reversed, if this were two white mutts mowing down a 64-year-old retired person of color and then giggling about it, it'd be all over the news. By the way, this is the second person they struck on a bicycle. They hit one before this who was 72 years old. He was lucky enough to survive. And before that, they burglarized the house and not only stole this car, this is their fourth stolen car they took that day. Stolen cars in Clark County are up 43% this year when compared to last. Why are stolen cars up so much? It's because it's not enforced. Clark County's woke sheriff, Kevin McCahill, believes that enforcing some of these crimes against property is racist. We would walk in the door and we'd stop every young black man that we could with the intent that we were trying to help. It's what we were taught. But what we didn't realize, because we never really listened to the community, was we were actually alienating the very same people we were trying to help. In the next clip, you're gonna hear the sheriff talk about Jorge Gomez, who was shot and killed by police during a BLM riot. Gomez was armed with three guns and was wearing full body armor. And his intent that day was to go out and kill cops as shown by his last social media post. I know thousands of armed citizens can end all of these cops and let it be known, we will. After the bean bags didn't work and Gomez refused to drop the gun, police were forced to shoot him. Knowing his backstory, let's listen to the woke sheriff talk about that shooting. Jorge Gomez was shot on the steps of the courthouse and lost his life. His family will never be the same. The last clip is a Democrat talking point. I'm sure you've heard it before. Let's see if you could spot it. You have to have leaders that are willing to push an organization to expand and expand and expand. And I know we can get there. I know we will get there because we are going to find ways to reimagine how it is that we police to be far more effective, to keep these vulnerable communities safe and to reduce the violent crime in our neighborhoods. Reimagine police. It sounds very familiar, right? Where have you heard that before? I think that a big part of this conversation really is about reimagining how we do public safety in America. Really reimagine what public safety should look like in our community. The folks in law enforcement that share the goals of reimagining policing. Reimagining policing in the 21st century. Rethinking and reimagining policing. Community efforts to reimagine policing. To reimagine policing. We have to reimagine what policing looks like. Reimagining policing, reimagining our public safety. Reimagine a citizen led approach. You can begin to reimagine law enforcement. Reimagine public safety in this country. What can we do to reimagine public safety? Reimagining public safety. To reimagine public safety. We must reimagine what public safety looks like. So there's the woke sheriff who won't enforce property crimes because doing so would be racist.